the Cessna O2 Skymaster, an unusual looking aircraft with some great nicknames like the Oscar Deuce, Push Pull, Suck and Blow, Engine Sandwich, Huff and Puff, and the Coming and Going. This was an unexpected and interim aircraft that fought and flew in the Vietnam War. It was used by brave pilots for FAC, that's forward air control. It was further used for psychological operations, though not typically involving chimpanzees. When America fully committed to the Vietnam War in the early 1960s, the Cessna 01 Bird Dog was being flown as an observation aircraft and would also take on the FAC role. Here it is anachronistically being flown during World War II in the film Battle of the Bulge. These aircraft first saw action with the US military during the Korean War. They were good, reliable aircraft and could mount rockets under the wings, but they were completely unarmored. Pilots would sit on flak jackets for protection. They were slow, with a maximum speed of 100 knots. The United States Air Force began developing a replacement for the Bird Dog in 1964, something faster, armored, and purpose-built. However, as the Vietnam War rapidly expanded in scope, an interim solution was needed. A civilian plane, the Cessna Skymaster, which was commercially introduced in 1962, would take on this role. It was a low-cost, easy-to-produce aircraft, The aircraft is a twin-engine design. Both engines were piston-powered, with one in the nose and the second at the rear of the fuselage. This gave the aircraft a push-pull configuration, providing centerline thrust. This configuration allowed for simpler operation than most low-wing-mounted twin-engine designs on light aircraft. Notably, if one engine fails, the aircraft is much easier to control. In fact, if the rear engine quit, which it sometimes did, a pilot might not immediately notice. The design allowed for a high wing to be used, which provided an excellent field of view below and behind the aircraft. Great visibility is essential for such aircraft. One of the easiest ways to spot a military variant Skymaster are by the view panels in the doors for improved ground observation, and the military version also lacks propeller cones. Overall modifications were minimal from the civilian to the military variant. Civilian seating was replaced by communication and navigation equipment. Some seat armor and flame retardant was added, and propeller spinners were removed. The aircraft went from 4,400 pounds to 5,400 pounds, giving it a maximum speed at sea level of 174 knots, or 320 kilometers an hour. Range was 920 nautical miles, or 1,710 kilometers. Like the O-1 Bird Dog, Hardpoints allowed the O-2 to hold rockets, gun pods, or flares. The O-2B version, which was designed for psychological warfare, was equipped with loudspeakers and a leaflet dispenser. O-2 Skymaster pilots were responsible for directing ground attack aircraft and bombing missions, an important role not in just eliminating the enemy, but ensuring that bombs don't strike friendly targets. Beyond this, Skymasters performed search and rescue and aided in locating downed airmen. They further flew low over the jungle and attempted to bait the enemy into firing on them, exposing their position. Skymasters weren't fast or well-armored. They never flew in a straight line and usually flew in pairs to watch out for one another. Many Skymasters were lost to small arms fire, out of the total of 178 lost in the war to all causes. In 1968, the OV-10 Bronco began taking over FAC duties. The Skymaster would remain in use, particularly as early Broncos had high levels of cockpit illumination, making night reconnaissance problematic. The Bronco was otherwise superior in many ways, including having better armor and ejection seats, greatly improving pilot survivability. Due to the inexpensive design, the Skymaster has been used throughout the world by many nations and in many unusual ways. The Mizar flying car combines elements of the Skymaster and a Pinto. Here is a modern US Navy single engine Skymaster with a multi-spectral targeting system. Ah. Uh, 
I'm Johnny. I hope you enjoyed this engine sandwich of a video. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day.